Hey, Coach Justin Chamness here, shutupmoney.com. And there is a difference between being poor and being humble. Most poor people aren't humble at all, although they live in humble surroundings. Let's talk about that right now. Sometimes we believe we know more than other people, and sometimes pride gets in our way, and we don't want to admit we don't know something or that we're wrong about something. Have you ever argued and argued and then realized, man, I've been wrong this whole time, but instead of being humble and embracing the new truth you discovered, you continued to argue the old way? Because You just didn't want to be wrong in front of everyone else. It can be embarrassing. Humility can be tough, but humility is a big part of your character if you're going to be successful. Here's the truth. You don't need all the answers. In fact, the people who are the most successful don't have all the answers. They do have a lot of great questions. The people that have the answers are working for the people who are humble enough and creative enough to voice their questions. These same successful people put aside their biases. Biases, those are opinions that you've had, prejudices that you enforce on reality. Successful people like to ask other people, how do you think this works? Is this going well? What's your opinion on this topic? And oftentimes, successful people will answer questions with, I don't know. Let's find out. If you refuse to question yourself, you are only going to stunt your growth and your progress. So let's make a commitment to be humble enough to recognize and to live out the idea that we do not know everything. And in fact, the more you do this, you'll discover the more you learn The more you know, the more you don't know. What ways are you not as humble as you should be? Think about this for one moment and how being humble can change everything. Tomorrow, I'm going to visit with you about making the most of your mistakes. CoachJustinChamness.com or ShutUpMoney.com is a great place for you and me to meet. I'd like to meet you. I like you. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.